Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's nine o'clock and it's time for another video. And today I'm going to be starting a brand new video uh, series, a brand new video series. I don't know how often I'm going to be able to put these up because it is an absolute nightmare to do these. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live review. So if you've seen the Craig and Ryan Review Show or the Review Show Specials, typically when I'm performing the magic uh, or Ryland's performing the magic, we perform it to each other or maybe to somebody in the office. We don't really go out and perform the tricks in the real world. And that's what the Review Show Revisited is for, where we go back and we look at tricks that we've uh, reviewed and we go and perform them in the real world. And we go and check and see if they are as good or as bad as we said they would be. Um, it's impossible really to produce the amount of reviews that we do and go and get live footage of every single trick. It's just impossible, especially with my schedule and with Ryland's schedule. But we do want to try and do that from time to time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this video series, which is going to be a live review. And how this is going to work is it's going to be a trick that we review. And it's going to be one particular trick each video. So we're going to kind of do a deep dive on it, a little bit like a review show special. But we're going to actually uh, take it out and perform it in the real world to see what the reactions are like in the real world. Uh, because sometimes you, you can guess at what the reactions are going to be like. And uh, anybody who watches this channel knows that myself and Ryland are very passionate about making sure that every trick we review has a live performance, even if it's to us or to somebody in the office. Because I think that it's really important to learn the trick to the point that you can perform it live. But having said that, sometimes... Um, you'll think that a trick is really good or really bad, and when you take it out in the real world, you realise that, that it's flawed in ways that you couldn't have possibly imagined, or it plays better than you thought it would. I'm sure everybody watching this has a trick that just, they don't understand why it gets the reaction it does. It gets the reaction it does, but don't understand why it gets the reaction it does. Well, um, that's what this is all about. That's what this video series now is all about. Going out, trying out in the real world and seeing what it's like. And today we're going to start off this brand new video series by looking at the new Miser's Dream style routine from Copeland Coins. So um, this is a brand new trick by Copeland Coins. Now, if you've not heard of Copeland Coins before, we've reviewed some of their stuff in the past. Uh, uh, they they sell very high-end coin magic. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, as a shop, they're fantastic. I use their Akito boxes. I think they're very, very good. Uh, I, I think that uh, as a shop, I think that they've got some great downloads. They've got some great ideas. Big fan, big fan of Copeland Coins. And they've teamed up with Jeff McBride, that's right, the legend himself, Jeff McBride and Jeff and Copeland's Coins have bought out, um, the, the best way to describe it is it's a miser's dream. Now, it's not really your traditional miser's dream. Anybody who knows the traditional miser's dream knows that it normally would use a bucket or some sort of gimmicked bucket, and the coins are held inside the bucket, either in palm or they're held in place with a gimmick, and, uh, and the idea is that you drop them one at a time inside the bucket. I'm sure you've seen miser's dreams like that before. It's a classic of magic. It's been done for a very, very, very long time. But what Jeff and Copeland are bringing to the table here um, is a goblet okay so it's a goblet uh, it looks like a very old it looks like the sort of thing that you'd see in medieval times it's a old worldy style goblet um, looks beautiful um, and uh, and and it's basically a coin production but what's interesting is the coins are actually being produced by the other hand and dropped in so unlike the traditional miser's dream where you're holding the bucket and you pretend to drop it in and you're dropping one of the coins in the bucket you are actually producing the coins and you're actually dropping them into the bucket now if you've not heard of this because this is something that's not out through other dealers it's not like it's a dealer item you can only get it from copeland coins if you've not heard of this before let's have a look at the trailer i'm going to pay the trailer for you and then we're going to break down exactly what it is that you get in the real world, what do they want? Another card trick or do they want you to pull money out of the air? That's the dream. Hi, 
I'm Jeff McBride, and I've been producing coins at my fingertips for over 50 years. Now Copeland Coins has taken a classic prop and updated it for modern audiences. This is the dream come true, and this is the money goblet. With the Money Goblet Project, you get everything you need. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or even a pro, we have full routines for you. A complete tutorial on all the moves that you will need to master this effect. You'll also get a polishing cloth that is used in the routine, special edition coins, a full video instruction tutorial with detailed breakdown of all the easy to learn moves and complete routines and you'll get a shot glass kicker finale. This project has the quality and all the special touches you have come to expect from Copeland Coins. Precision engineered and every detail thought out to help you make beautiful magic. Your sleeves are rolled up and there are no tells. Your hands are constantly seen empty, yet money keeps coming from your fingertips. Endless money, non-stop never ending from thin air. I'm Jeff McBride and this is the Money Goblet. So that's the trailer. Now, um, it looks impressive, doesn't it? it? Looks really good. And and to be honest, any trick that has Jeff McBride's name attached to it, well, you know that there's going to be something special going on there, right? That's just that's just the way it is. Well, what we have here is you. you first of all, there's lots of different options where you can almost get overwhelmed when you buy this thing because there are so many different options. Let me break down the options. It's not the cheapest trick in the world. It's definitely for professionals. Uh, but it's also not the most expensive, you know, it's, it's going to run you around about $200 depending on the set that you're going to get. So um, the goblets come in two colours. You can either have a silver goblet or you can have a brass goblet. Um, if you have the brass goblet, if you have the silver goblet, you're going to have golden coins. But if you have the brass goblet, you're going to have silver coins. Now, the coins that come with it are disco coins, disco dollars, which are Copeland's coins' own coins. They're manipulation coins, so they're uh, they're thin, they're visible, they're shiny, they're perfect for producing on stage. And you're going to get five of those with each option. So if you get the silver goblet, or if you get the uh, if you get the brass goblet, you're going to get five of those. Now myself and Ryland um, both have one of these sets, and d d just so you know, we bought one. We got it in, Ryland immediately wanted to put it into his show, and then when I watched him do it in his show, I'm like, stuff this, I want one as well, so then I ordered another one. So that'll give you an idea of what we think of this, you know, that'll give you a sneak peek of what the grade's gonna be for this. Um, so I actually put two orders in with them. We both went for silver goblets with gold coins. Now you get five coins with them, um, but you can get extra coins. So when you buy it, you can add on extra coins. And also the disco dollars in both silver and gold are available on the site um, as, uh, as optional extras. So you can buy extras, which is good if you're doing what Ryland's doing, which is giving a coin away at the end of each performance. Um, so that's, that's, that's that. Now you can also, if you want to, uh, add an ungimmicked goblet to the uh to, to the order as well so if you want to have an un because obviously it's gimmick the goblet is gimmick to be able to do this routine um but you can add an ungimmicked goblet now if you add an ungimmicked goblet um you can um you you can i don't know switch that in have it examined because the goblet that you are going to receive to do this trick is not examinable at all. You know, you couldn't give it to a spectator to examine. So that's that. So that's what you're going to actually get. So uh, the, uh, the, the what we bought was a silver goblet with an ungimmick goblet as an add-on, and we added on a few extra disco dollars as well. So once you've got that, you're going to get access to the tutorial. And the tutorial runs around about an hour or so. 
And it starts off with Jeff McBride talking about the prop. And as you would imagine with Jeff, I mean, there's a reason why this man is considered to be one of the best teachers in the world. It's because he is one of the best teachers in the world. And this is this is no example. I mean, the uh, the tutorial that he goes through is incredible. He goes through various different routines and various different ways of using the goblet. It's very interesting, actually. Even if you've not really done much coin magic before, it's very accessible. The beginner routine isn't that difficult. You are going to need to know a couple of grips, and we'll go through those in a bit, but it's not that difficult. It's not something you could immediately start doing, but it's not impossible. Um, and then you go into... Um, uh, and then he goes into more advanced routines, more advanced ideas, more advanced concepts that you can actually use with the goblet as well. So it's very modular. It can take you from beginner level and take you through to kind of more of an advanced style of routine. And you see Jeff performing with it numerous ways. You see, you see numerous performances to camera, speaking and also to music. And, uh, and then after all of the tutorial, which runs probably about 40 minutes, you've then got a sit down interview with Jeff. Um, where they talk for probably about an hour, half an hour, an hour or something like that about the crediting, the history, the routine and there's some real gold there. That interview is fantastic. So the tutorial, second to none. It's got everything that you need to get out of the, uh, out of the trick. So what do we think of it? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you a performance of Ryland doing this at the House of Secrets. So we got this about a week or so before the House of Secrets. Uh, run that Ryland's on at the moment. I'm filming this in Blackpool. Um, we got this about a week before that run started. And Ryland spent the week putting together an act and we knew that he wanted to do it to music. And we knew ideally that we wanted to get a kid to come up on stage and help him with the routine, um, which wasn't discussed on the tutorial, but Ryland was really keen on actually having that happen, you know, kind of getting a kid to come up on, on stage. So, what you're about to see is the routine that myself and Ryland put together. Obviously, it's a work in progress. It's the first time he's done it, but I think it, it looks really good. And I think, obviously, as he continues to perform it, it's going to get better and better and better. But let's have a look at this. This is the performance of Ryland doing um, the goblet at the House of Secrets in Blackpool. People often ask me if um, I can make money up here. Well, yeah, you can. Anyone can. Um, if they've got a good imagination. In fact, if you've got a great imagination, you can make as much money as you want. Now later on, uh, in this in this part of the this this trick, I'm gonna get. Uh, I need someone to help me. So you, when I point at you, what you're going to do is you're gonna join me up on stage and stand like this, okay? You stand like this, facing forward. When I point at you, okay? So you stand stand like this, okay? You got that? You got that, okay? Now. Let me show you what I mean by you can make as much money as you want. Watch this.
so that's the um, that's the routine, right? That's the uh, that that's the trick. So obviously, uh, we set it to music. Money, money, money. The instrumental version seemed like the logical choice. Uh, might change over time, but to be honest, I quite like the beats on that. It keeps the routine at quite a nice level. Um, and as you can see, a lot of the stuff in there is pretty much what Jeff went through, starting off by producing coins, um, then producing them from various body parts, then producing them faster and faster and faster. Um, uh, Ryland went to the point of, of getting somebody up and producing coins out of their ears. We knew we wanted a big finale, which is why we went for uh, getting a handkerchief to rub the goblet down again and, uh, and then switching the goblet so that he could do a final production at the end, uh, which I think works really well. Uh, and I think that that's... I was a little bit worried when we put it together would people think that the goblets are being switched, but why would they? I mean, it's just a goblet. I, I, I don't think people would even perceive that. Uh, and they didn't, you know, I've watched his entire run and, you know, he got a standing ovation for it the last three shows that he did with it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that'll that give you an idea of exactly what you, what this is capable of. A couple of points that I want to bring into, uh, I want to talk about. So first of all, if you're going to do the basic beginner routine, you are going to need to be able to do finger palm. And if you follow the instructions that Jeff goes through, you're going to need to be able to do Downs Palm as well. Uh, now, Jeff talks about Downs Palm, he talks about Finger Palm, uh, but those two grips are required. Now, Ryland doesn't use Downs Palm. It's not a palm that he actually uses. Um, so he substituted Downs Palm with Curl Palm. Um, and that works just as well for what he's wanting to do. So just so you're aware, if you don't do Downs Palm, but you do do Curl Palm, because put Curl Palm is more of a modern palm that some coin magicians might be more used to than Downs Palm, especially if you're new into coin magic, um, Curl Palm works just as fine. And in actual fact, I've actually started using Curl Palm. Even though I can do Downs Palm, I've started using Curl Palm. Now, my routine, what's nice about this it's my routine that I'm putting together, very, very different to Ryland's. I don't do anything really to music, so my routine involves, um, uh, it's more of a pattern-based style routine, and I'm putting more advanced techniques in because I've been doing coin magic longer, so I'm doing a production of a coin, and then I'm doing a coin star, um, a, uh, a four coin roll down, and I'm dropping the coins into the bucket. I'm doing a couple of four coin rolls downs, one in one hand, one in the other hand. Uh, and I'm actually using the handkerchief at the beginning to do um, a production of coins at the very, very beginning before I pick up the goblet. Now that's not my idea, I wish it was. It's actually Jeff McBride's idea. So the handkerchief comes with this trick. Um, so you actually get the handkerchief as well as the goblet and um, that that comes as part of the set and as part of the tutorial Jeff actually teaches you how to do uh, coin production from handkerchief so I'm actually doing that I'm producing coins using the handkerchief first of all and then I'm actually going into the production using the goblet um, that works really well for me it also means that I can produce a jumbo coin so because I'm using the um, uh, because I'm using the handkerchief, I make a jumbo coin appear and then I grab the goblet and I go into the goblet and I do a bunch of productions using the goblet. Um, you also get a shot. Uh, you also get a gimmick that allows you to make a shot appear at the end. So it looks at the very end like you can make a shot appear and you can drink the shot and that's a nice finale to the routine. Um, Ryland's not using that, obviously, because I don't think it's appropriate for a 10-year-old to actually produce a shot that he then drinks. Um, and I'm not really doing it as well. But uh, the, the production of the shot is very nice. And uh, and again, Jeff teaches it really, really well. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really else to say. The tutorial is amazing. The, the, the prop itself is very well made. It's not self-working by any stretch of the imagination. It does require sleight of hand, but it's something that is accessible with a little bit of practice. Unless you're an incredible coin worker, you're not going to be able to pick this up and start doing it the next day. You are going to have to be practicing the routine and thinking about the choreography. And what's nice is that Jeff goes goes through lots of different options, but he encourages you to make the routine your own, which I think is very, very important. Uh, the routine would also work in, a, uh, it worked for pretty much every audience. So it would work for a kid's show, absolutely. If you're a kid's entertainer and you want to put something really special in, this is a great prop to go for. It would also work for a corporate audience, you know, or a um, um, more of an adult audience or a family audience. It would work for everybody like that, 100%, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, could you do it close up is the question that we're going to get here. Technically, you could. Um, technically, but I mean, you'd have to carry this thing around with you. 
um, and it wouldn't fit in a pocket. You might be able to find some sort of holder for it, but it wouldn't fit in a pocket. Um, and there are angle considerations. It's not that angly, but if you're doing extreme close up, I, I'd say this is more of a, this is kind of more of a stage or a parlor or a platform style prop or a kid show style prop. This isn't really the sort of thing that you do in a close up environment. I think with a bit of thought, you could, and absolutely, if you're doing banquet and you're wanting to walk up to the table and do this in a banquet, you could, uh, style situation, you could do this, absolutely. And I don't think the angles would be a problem at all, but it's like where you would put it down afterwards, because if you put it down, somebody might want to look at it. And if they, do, if they do, they'll see how it's gimmicked because it's not like it can be examined at all. And it wouldn't be able to fit into a pocket because it's too big to go into a pocket. So you literally just have to walk over and then maybe put it on the floor and hope people wouldn't pick it up or just do this one routine and work away. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great trick. Absolutely amazing. Uh, wonderful prop. I'm giving it 100%. Uh, I've spoken to Ryland, although he's not available to do this video today. He's giving it 100% as well. So it gets 100% from me and from Ryland. It's a real worker. Ryland's already said it's definitely staying as part of the mainstay of his act. If you're a performer that performs to bigger audiences, street performers would kill with this. I think this would be a great prop for a street performer. The sound of the coins landing inside the goblets are great. Oh, and one final point is the disco dollars aren't that expensive. So um, Ryland, how Ryland's been doing it and how I plan on doing it as well is giving away one of these coins to the person that comes up and helps, which I think is an amazing idea. It really kind of gives them a gift that they're going to remember forever. And, um, you know, I think that's a really nice idea as well. So you can get more disco dollars from Copeland Coins, but it's 100% from me. It's 100% from Ryland. It's really good. So there you go, guys. That is the first uh, live magic review in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is there something that you would like to see us review live? Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to join the Netrix, please do so. Go to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. You can go and access it right now and you can go and see what all the fuss is about. We've got a 0.08% cancellation rate because people, when they come onto it, they realize it's the best deal in magic. We're adding 10 new routines, uh, five new routines every single fortnight uh, as well as uh, masterclasses this month's masterclass is going to be killer so there's a lot to love there's a lot to like we're very very excited about the future of the netrix go join if you want to www.thenetrix.com i'll see you again soon thanks for watching my name's craig from magic tv mm -hmm.